1990, Namibia declared English as the official language in the country. However, 10 indigenous languages are spoken in Namibia. The German language, spoken by about 30,000 Namibians, is one of those recognized Namibian languages. The German radio language station, established in 1980 originally, dimmed it fit to celebrate its 40th birthday at the coastal town of Swakopmund. The event was mostly attended by German-speaking senior citizens and the NBC Director General Stanley Similo, who was joined by his delegation of managers, said he was delighted that the event has been taken to the coast. I'm actually very happy to see that the station Funkhaus has brought the event to Swakopmund. I am on record for having said that please go out, do the stories where the people are. In the case of Funkhaus, if there's a concentration of German-speaking Namibians that are in a particular setting, there is nothing that stops Funkhaus to go there and be part of that. So I'm expecting to see more of this because only through that can the station grow. Similo indicated that radio programs should be created to according to what people want to listen to, adding that it takes a special group of people to sustain any radio station. The management of the NBC and the management of Funkhaus know if they don't bring out good programs, the very first people that will either complain or compliment are those that are listening, and that's very important. Because when we do programs, we can do programs that we like. These programs must speak to the people that listen to them. The issues that they want to raise, the issues that they want to debate. And if we are not amongst the people, we might just lose that. As I said earlier on, radio is extremely intimate. So against that background, it takes a special breed of people to be behind the mic. One of the more popular programs on Funkhaus Namibia is the quiz show Kopfian Kopfian, translating to Little Hat Little Hat, which was aired on the day with listeners calling in to participate. Elvis Mboya, NBC News, Swakopmund.